This is Krista Watson, and on this motorcode, we'll go beyond the riders, beyond the quads, to the 990 square foot, 18 wheeled rolling team headquarters. These two story transporters are kitchens, lounges, offices, and more. These aren't your average transporters, these are HV rigs. Hello, this is John Shelburne, the truck driver for the Rockstar Makita Suzuki ATV race team. Come on in, let me show you around. This is the, uh, what everybody calls the kitchen area. We, uh, we've got the preparations out for sandwiches, which we have for lunch. Uh, the stuff up here is like bread and the seasonings that I put on everything and stuff like that. Um, this is general area. I've got a nice uh, sink and a microwave. Alrighty, and on down here is the uh, refrigerator. Uh, all the uh, ATV rigs episodes, they like to show you what's inside the refrigerator. Ours is stocked up pretty good. Just got back from the store. Got some vegetables, a couple fruits, and all the meats and salads for uh, tonight's dinner and tomorrow's uh, tomorrow's lunch. And then up above is uh, is full of the uh, the pops. I've got to have the pops. Glenn, Mr. Burns, loves to have the pops. And then on the back from here, um, we've got our radios that we use for the team communications when they're out on the track. The mechanics talk to each other. The team manager, Corey, and the crew chief, uh, Kevin, talk to each other, letting you know ideas about how to get around the track and stuff better. And then on the back, we've got. Uh, uh, different, uh, just different parts we keep on stock, you know, tools and stuff like that. You have to have extra seats down in the bottom there. Uh, this is our chains and sprockets we keep in here, air filters. You know, we keep enough sprockets that for some reason, everybody at the track runs out, we'll have enough for them. Alrighty. And this is my favorite drawer that we open up. This is the uh, nuts and bolts. We've got enough nuts and bolts pretty much to take care of two or three bikes. Um, it's just one of those things. If you break a bolt or strip it out when you're, you're uh, making sure everything's good on the four-wheeler, you want to be able to sure, be sure to have extras. And then more there. And then kill switches and, and few, uh, oil lines and uh, clutch cables and throttle cables. And this is Kevin's area, our crew chief. He also does all of the uh, uh, shock rebuilding and um, uh, doing the rear tires with the tire balls and stuff. This is uh, the octopus. This puts the, uh, the air in all the tire balls that we put in our rear tires. It makes it so that the, if, you have, if you happen to puncture your tire, it, uh, it makes it so it doesn't go flat. And then it also helps with the suspension on the bike. And this is, uh, this is our Henson's uh, clutch baskets and stuff he sends us, so we'll have them on spare. And then just tools and stuff in here, more tools. It's just, this is one of the things that, you know, we've got to have this stuff on hand, you know. If you break something, you got to be able to fix it. Alrighty, and that's pretty much everything. Oh, no, my engines. This is cool because we keep uh, two spare engines on hand, and then this is our extra exhausts. Uh, just in case we don't pass sound, and then we've got the different stuffers for different decibel levels, and then bearing carriers and all of our quad tech stuff and uh, mud caps, so we keep all of that ready to go. Alrighty, this is Corey's office. If you notice the, uh, the sign on the door, when Corey comes in, when he leaves, there's usually a, something that lingers behind. His presence sort of sticks around a little. So we've got a shower and a little sink and on this side's the throne. Get up the steps here. This is the uh, office area. When peop important people come by, we set them down and try and get millions and millions of dollars from them so we can keep racing. Um, all the cabinets and stuff. It's got my big screen TV here. Usually we have ATV rigs on, so you know I can keep track of what everybody else is doing. And then our satellite system. And this is for my dish, and this is for my VCR and uh, DVD player. And then just cabinets we keep different stuff in. Uh, I think this one's full of 
Medical supplies, we keep that hidden. It's a sort of a jinx for the riders. They don't want to know that I've got it because then I'm planning for it. But and then this here's my uh, my Rockstar closet where I keep all the the Rockstar that I give away for the weekend. Then up a couple more steps here. The elevator's bro broken, or we'd go up that. This is our riders' lounge. Really, if you notice, I, I'm six, one and a half, two if I stand up stall. Uh, I think this was actually meant for Doug and the, the rest of the Oompa Loompas, but uh, Dustin has a little bit of problem getting around up here. But this is where they hang out. They've got, each one's got a, a set of lockers here. They keep all their gear and stuff in. Uh, and then they've got their own TV up here. I'm not for sure what they watch on it. And then a little, uh, little, uh, refrigerator here. All righty, here's the uh, the upstairs area garage that we keep the four-wheelers in during transportation. We have the mule, four four-wheelers, grill, tires, fuel, uh, spare nerf bars, all the extra plastic, stuff like that. It just keeps it out of the normal work areas. Alrighty, and that's up if we're upstairs. Then off the back of the trailer, we've got a lift gate. This is the same style lift gate that the NASCAR guys have. Uh, we could put a uh, race car on it, put it up, and pull it right in. Now we're in the hospitality area. Uh, we use these easy ups to help keep uh, uh, the riders' uh, entourages nice and uh, out of the sun when they come to the races. Dustin brings four or five people, Doug brings four or five people. Some people come from the old folks' home that Doug lives at, and they hang out here. We like to keep them out of the sun. This is our uh, the beginning of our wash process. A lot of people think I just carry big cans of Rockstar. But that's not true. They're just big fuel tanks. We turn on the side and put the Rockstar logos on it, so uh, makes them look nice. Other than that, they'd be just big aluminum cans. And uh, the water comes out of that through an elaborate pump system, then out of hose, and we take it over to our our wash cart that has three pressure washers on it that we use to wash the four-wheelers with. And that's pretty much all of the tour. Unless you go stick around and wash the four-wheelers, I suggest you hit the road. Hi right, guys, I'm Thomas Brown, a uh, semi-professional truck driver and professional motocross racer. So uh, I'll show you the rig real quick. Sorry for the place being a little messy. Uh, we're trying to clean up after a long weekend out here at uh, Muddy Creek. This down here, you know, keep all our tools and then all our specialty tools go in the wooden toolbox underneath the counter. Big bay doors, close all that up. Looks really nice and going down. You know, got a ton of stuff going on. We ain't got as many cabins as some of the other teams, but we can make things work. Got all parts throughout these. Everything's organized into different boxes. Just uh, our way of organizing things. We know where all the part numbers are. So, works out pretty good. More traveling. Uh, my pickup truck comes in here. All the bikes are up on top with the water tank and the Grizzly. So uh, we can take a look up there real quick and see what y'all think. All right, up here is where we keep our tires to the right. And then uh, right about where I'm standing is, is called, we call this the rider's lounge. You know, I got, got my gear bag. That's about all I got. Not really a seat. I kind of sit on the steps down here, but uh, gets the job done, you know. People can see in your underwear and stuff. It looks pretty cool. And then we got the full back section. Lift goes up. Got my uh, two practice bikes, my dirt bike on there right now. Get them out of the way for the race weekend. And then uh, just more spare parts and plastic and stuff for anything we need for the weekend. Uh, take you inside the hall where I sleep during the week and week out. So I'll uh, show you all that real quick. Here's the uh, living quarters of the uh, Yamaha rig here. Got a full service in here. Uh, we'll show you the bathroom. The old man's taking a shower right now, so we'll let him be. Come here. Like we said, we're a little bit of a mess right now, trying to load up. Uh, full bed, couch pulls out into a full queen size bed. Play a room to let the magic happen. Or not, you know, whatever. Then you got a bed up here, and this folds into a bed. Plenty of sleeping areas. Nice area to relax. Satellite TV. You know, just kind of watch what I do, sitting relaxed between motos. All right, I'll show you all the cab from the driver's seat. Got a Mercedes 450 in here with the uh, smart shift training so I can just relax and drive, don't worry about shifting gears. 
Uh, but uh, it's time for me to hit the road, so uh, y'all can stay or leave. I don't care, but I'm going to Texas.